You got a child or dependent and you paid for some type of preschool or daycare and you want to get the tax credit in TurboTax. Let's do it. All right, so in TurboTax, you'll click on this deductions and credits button. It'll land you on this screen. I like to scroll down and use this little search function, type in child there and hit that little care button. Dependent care credit is what we're doing here. So click on this. And did we pay for some care? Yes, we did in 23. So it's going to ask, you know, who did we pay for? Hopefully you've already entered in the dependence information. If not, obviously click that button. But in my case, I already did. So I'm going to click on the button there or from the drop down. Sorry. Click continue. And the amount of expenses that we paid for in 23. So you should be getting like a tuition statement from the preschool or daycare that will tell you how much you paid for. So I have a, an example here of one that we redacted, and it told, tells us, sorry, the total amount that we paid in 2023, so 13149 So I'll just enter that in right here. Not chump change, man, that's a lot of money. All right, continue, and there we go. Yep, that's it. Obviously, if you got more, you'll enter those in there, but in my case, we're just gonna do the one, okay, hit done. Then we're gonna have to enter in the information from the daycare or the preschool. So you'll have to put that in here. And most importantly, they will also want this EIN, which should be on the tuition statement that you get from the school. All right, so I'm just gonna type in some bogus numbers here, okay? Just so we can illustrate. But most important, right, you're gonna put also the amount that you paid to this provider. So again, just look back at that tuition statement. So in this case, it's 13149, 13149. There we go. Is this your household employee? Generally, this is a no. It's, I think it's rare that people actually uh, hire people in the house and try and get the credit because then we have to issue them a W-2 in order to get the credit. So we're only doing this essentially generally for preschool or daycare providers. So we're going to say no in this case and hit continue. And no, we don't want to save that info. Not a valid, of course. All right, so let's try another bogus number here. All right, so what this little excerpt is saying essentially is if you have an FSA through your employer, this would not be, uh, be able to be counted towards this tax credit because that's FSA is already tax-free money is what this thing is saying. All right, continue. And there it is. Okay, that's what we paid to the preschool. Hit done. Did you pay for any 22 care in 23? I'm gonna hit no in this case, but obviously you could. And there we go. We got a $600 credit for getting that done. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, use that TurboTax link in the description. It's gonna help me out. I get a little chunk of the change. When you do that, your fee doesn't change for TurboTax, but nonetheless, it does help the channel. Thank you so much, guys.